morning everybody welcome to the bomb zone bomb throw here hey i'm gonna show you another way to throw control random folks just pick up the dice stack them you want to bring your two finger your, your middle your, uh, yeah your middle finger or you can use this finger here i mean it don't matter what you i, I use the middle finger and the thumb and, and, you know, I just really want to grip that bottom die. So when I come down, just, just like that, and I bring my other two fingers and grip the top die. So I got the top die grip more than that bottom dice, okay? You know, that's done on purpose because when I throw this dice, I want to be top heavy. I want to throw that top dice first. I want to be strong with that top dice. And what it's going to do is it's going to get this dice here to trail, okay? All about trailing, people. Okay, and I showed you that on that last video where we were throwing forward, you know, when we were doing the forward rotation, how the, I told you how the back dice trailed. Same way with this controlled random. We're actually adding something to our controlled random, and that's called dice trailing. It's going to be great, man, in the future. I'm really getting into this dice trailing, and I really like what I'm doing. I went to the casino yesterday, and I threw the... Uh, uh, Hardway set 6262 hardways Okay, and I was using my this is the way I showed you in the last video how to do this where you barely Grip this left or this uh, Left dice right you got more finger on the inside dice Then you bring your middle finger down and then even bring your index finger or ring finger down like that so now I got almost full grip on this inside dice barely gripping his outside so then when I throw this thing, I'm throwing like I only got the one dice in my hand, and I'm throwing it forward real strong with, with like this. And that's going to give this dice to take off and this dice here to trail. And I'm throwing, I'm hitting where the cum area is, okay? Right here. So that way you can watch your dice. Keep an eye. Make sure you're throwing it right. Let me throw them real quick. And let me move this up here real fast. You guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So watch this dice trail, okay? Let's see if I can get it like this. Let me point the dice down more. Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, now watch how the back dice will trail. I'm going to hit right in that thumb area, and one dice will trail. Now, I'm just setting this random, so it ain't about the outcome of the dice. It's just about showing you what I mean by dice trailing. See that? See that one dice trail? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay? Let me do it again. Dice trailing. Remember that, folks. It's going to be... I'm going to really get into dice, what I'm going to call dice trailing. Okay? Because I believe it's going to be something great, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, this, this dice here on the right, it hit the wall, and this dice was about right here, still bouncing, when this dice already hit the wall and was bouncing this way, and this dice was right here, and then it hit the, you know, I mean, within seconds later, uh, you know, but the, I, you know, that's what I'm saying, it's just trailing, see, that, that's what we want here, trailing, okay, one more time, see that, look at that. Beautiful. Dice trailing. All right. That's what we want to do. That's what we're going to start getting into in a lot of my videos, man. It's just dice trailing. And you've seen it on that last one, how I showed you by doing that, okay? And uh, so anyway, I went to the casino yesterday and I threw this, the hard way set, 6262. And, uh, you know, throwing uh, gripping it like that and, and having the dice trail. When you hit by that cum area, you know, you can watch your dice do it. That's what's good, man. So you can actually see your dice doing it, trailing as you're throwing. So you know what you did. So it's easier to zone in now. You can really pick up what you did and repeat your mechanics, man, constantly. So anyway, I threw that yesterday. And I threw two out of four real good throws. Two out of four, okay? I even had a three and out, folks. See? I'm not 100% perfect. I never claim to be 100% perfect. I don't throw perfect every single time. But if, if I can throw like I did yesterday, two out of four, that's 50-50. But I threw two 
I want to say high 20 plus throws. I, get, I think one of them was actually in the 30s. <clears throat> if I could do that every single day, which I do, I'm happy. So if anybody says they throw 100% perfect every time, they're lying to you, folks. It ain't happening. Now, this, this guy, one guy did the other day, because he only threw two times, and he was throwing a flip. I showed that in that video I deleted. He threw two good times, and he left. But see, he knew to get out while he's on top. But dice trailing. So I actually implemented that thing in our controlled random. Okay, so we're going to do controlled random with dice trailing combined into it. Okay, so all I'm doing, man, is whatever the dice was thrown to me, I'm just stacking one up, man. I ain't setting my dice. Don't give a fuck what number's on what side, right? What I'm going to do now with my middle finger and my thumb, I'm going to come down. I'm going to slide down off this top dice. I barely feel that crack, man, all right, of the dice. That's where I'm going to grip them. So I got more grip on that top dice. And then I'm going to bring my other two, my uh, ring finger, which comes down and does that. And then my middle finger comes down here and grabs that. So I really got that top dice gripped. And barely hanging on to the bottom. And so that's going to give me, when I throw this thing, I'm throwing top heavy, man. I'm really pushing that top dice. So I want it to take off first. And you want to throw good because you want to have enough, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> volume on it to, uh, you know, make the bottom dice go all the way to the wall. You, because if you don't, it's going to die halfway down the table. <clears throat> and the dealer's going to, you know, or the stick man's going to, or the pit ball's going to say something to you. So you want to throw top heavy. Just like that, man. Seeing the dice trails, man. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to be a 10. That's going to be our point. So, control random and dice trailing combined, folks. It's a beautiful thing, man. All right? Again, let's do this. Hey, it's going to be a 6. Now... You know, you're not going to throw, I mean, you can probably get lucky and hit a 20 to 30 throw every now and then, but you're not going to throw consistent in the 20s and 30s, folks. But I'll tell you what you're going to do. And I flipped over, folks. That looks fine. Um, you're going to throw consistent 14 to 16 throws, okay? And that's enough to win, folks. That's, that's what's going to make you a triple-A shooter, man. You're going to be consistent with this throw. Look at that dice trailing. Love it, man. Hey, it's going to be an 8. So, you're going to be consistent with 14 to 16, but that, that don't mean you're going to throw 14 to 16 throws every single time, man. You're going to throw a 3 and out here or 5 and out, but then you're going to bounce back and throw another 14, 15 throw, okay? You, you know, you just bounce back with your next throw, folks. You don't, you don't worry about it, man. You know? Okay, it's going to be a hard eight. You know, like yesterday when I threw that, you know, that 6262, like, well, I've shown you how I threw it with, you know, with uh, setting the, or gripping the dice and throwing it and trailing it. You know, my first throw, I threw probably a 20 plus throw, okay? Then my second throw, I threw probably close to 30 in the 30s, man. I killed it on my second throw. It was a beautiful throw. But then my third throw, I threw a three and out. And then my fourth throw, I threw probably eight, maybe eight, maybe nine, eight or nine, and I seven down. And I left after that. I figured, um, I got cold, and I left. But I threw two good throws. I made all my money. I hit the small tall all on one of them, and I hit the small on another one. So I made bonus money. Uh, one throw, I hit ten, I hit five like 12 times, man. I, made a lot, I was pressing it up one time, each one, man. I started with a 10, pressed it to a quarter, and then I just started pressing one unit every time I hit it. And, you know, I made a lot of money off that five. Um... So this trailing, I'm really going to start getting into dice trailing. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nine. Okay. So I'm getting into more throws on dice trailing. Even throwing like this, but setting my dice. Okay. I've, 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 I've got into that, like using the all seven set, you know, where I set it, you know, with the all seven like this. And I've been practicing that also. So... I'm really getting in. I'll be doing some videos in the future as far as 
more on this dice trolling, but right now I'm using it with just to control random because it's a lot easier to do. You know, it's less complicated. I don't have to worry about setting my dice, but I still got throw control involved in my throw, people. And this is why it's not a 100% random throw, okay? I, I, I'm implementing my con, uh, throw control and dice direction in this throw by trolling my dice also. You know, because, you know, I'm setting, I'm ripping the dice the same way. I'm stacking it every time the same way. Even though the dice are not set, it's a random set. But I'm coming down with my fingers every time the same way. See, a random, 100% random throw will not do that. Will not rip the dice the same exact way every time, okay? But that's what I do. This is what puts the control in the random. And then, again, I'm going to... Throw it the same way every time. See, 100% random thrower just throw the dice. They're not throwing the same way every time. You will throw in this way. Okay? And I'm getting my uh, back dice to trail. So I'm actually directing my dice to do a certain thing. So that is my throw control and dice direction. And that's keeping me above the seven, you know, I'm hitting the seven. Okay, so that's gonna be a 10, it's gonna be a point hit, okay? And that's why I'm gonna throw consistently 14 to 16 throws, folks, okay? Now, you know, I might hit under and throw a 12 and a 13, you know, and I might hit a little over and throw a 17 or an 18, okay? That's gonna come, but I'm gonna be more consistent in that 14 to 16 bracket and I'm going to be more consistent with it, uh, throwing it more times. Like I say I, I go to the casino and I have five or six outings. I'm, I'm, I might throw three times good out of five or six. That's enough to win, folks. That's all you want to do is win. Okay, it's going to be a... I knew I was going to throw a come out seven on there. I just knew it. I just, I felt that seven before I even threw it. So, it happened at the right time though, folks. Come out sevens are okay. Boom, no seven. Mm. Raining down on us, folks, but we're picking the right time to throw them, man. You know, come out sevens are part of the game, folks. There's nothing to be embarrassed by it or to worry about it. It just happened, man. Damn, three in a row. Jesus. I don't think I've ever thrown three sevens in a row, man. Even when I was trying to hit them. Trust me, folks, this is a good throw, man. I wasn't throwing get hard enough. Okay, that's going to be a hard eight. Okay, so we're back on the roll again. Now, I also wanted to come out and say, you know, I, I, I put out a video yesterday called The Flip. And, uh, then I went in and deleted it. Okay? You know, I've noticed here, by setting, by putting fours on top, I notice I've been having better luck with my throw. So I'm going to try something here. Instead of just random setting my dice, I'm just going to put fours on top, okay? So I'm going to put, have two fours and then stack them. So I got a four here and a four here, okay? Let me just try this for a little bit. Eight. Okay, point hit. All right, so we're going to mark our hard eight that we hit. All right, that's our eight point. Uh, anyway, so I, I released a video yesterday called The Flip, and you know, I kind of went after a fellow YouTuber, because uh, he made some derogatory comments about dice setters. And uh, you know, I kind of take that personal, just like CK did, this is what I heard from. I was watching Dangerous Arm. And, you know, he was ramping and tearing in this uh, fellow YouTuber, man, for cutting down dice controllers. And he never called out the guy's name, but, you know, anybody with half a brain knew who he was talking about. He was talking about color-ups. And which surprised me, too. I couldn't believe 
the guy said, I mean, I don't really watch, I don't watch Color Up. I've only seen one of his videos. I didn't like it, so I just didn't watch him anymore. You know, I didn't have anything bad to say about him. I never mentioned him in any of my videos or, or, or any comments I said to viewers about anything that he's ever done. I just, you know, I don't attack fellow viewers, okay? Now, I will attack, I mean, I mean, fellow YouTubers. Now, I will attack viewers because most viewers just come on and say something and then I, I just delete them and I go on, okay? Because I, I get hateful comments on every single video I do, okay? But a lot of them are just, you know, they just say that what you do is crap and all this bullshit and they don't attack me personally, so I don't ever say nothing about it. I just delete their comment and I move on with life. But the ones who, you know, come on and attack me personally, those are the ones I come on video and then attack them, okay? Or say a bunch of lies about me, like they did on uh, that uh, crap setters uh, forum that's on Facebook. You know, then I'll come out and say something. But generally, I don't attack people because I just delete them and move on. It's just going to happen. I, I expect three or four bad comments every time I like this video here. When I release it, I'm going to get three or four bad comments, man. So I'll just uh, block them where they can't comment anymore and I move on. If, if they don't attack me. Now, if they attack me, then I come on and attack them. So I was really surprised to hear that. A fellow YouTuber attacked another YouTuber because that that's never happened. I thought we was all kind of in a, a close knit family type situation here because there's not a lot of us there, and we got so much hate coming from the outside. We don't need to be bickering within each other. And I, so I always thought that even though it's not written, it, it was just we all just knew we stuck together, man, as a little close knit family, because you know there's not many of us out there doing this stuff, and so we just stick together. And not the same thing about each other strong. Even though we might not like the other guy, we're not going to come out and say nothing because we stick together. So for him to go against the grain and, and jump outside the box and, and attack dice setters by his comment, okay, he might not, you know, originally meant to say anything particular to me or to CK, but he did with that comment. Okay, you got to watch what you say because, you know, we're worldwide, man. There's a lot of ears and eyes on everything that I do, that he does, that CK does. So you've got to watch what you say because what you say could be against another YouTuber like what he did. You know, he said he didn't believe in dice setting. He did, he's never witnesses. Which, okay, right there, that's the part that got, that got me. So he's never witnesses, and he, he actually says he watches my videos, which I don't understand. If he don't believe in dice setting, why the hell are you even watching me, man? Don't watch me. Go away. I don't want negative people watching me. You're a negative person. I don't want you watching me. Because you're going to go say shit like this to other viewers, and it's basically spreading poison. Okay? That's exactly what he did. He spread poison against our videos. I don't care if he didn't mean to do that or not with his comments. But that's exactly what he did. So I attacked the guy on my, on that video. And I felt really bad about doing it because I, I didn't want to go against the grain. I don't want to attack another YouTuber. That just, it's just, it's kind of like, it's sacrilegious, man. You don't do that. Okay. All right. So that's going to be another hard eight. So, yeah, I mean, I was kind of disappointed that he did that you know um uh, and hurt a little bit too man because you know i i never thought i never seen that coming that a fellow youtuber would attack another one like that by saying derogatory comments about you know a certain subject that they do so anyway so that's why i took it down because i didn't really i didn't like it so i, I took it down so i just want to come on and let you guys know what happened to the video that's why i took it down um but it don't make it right for what he said, even though he, you know, he commented me and tried to make it sound better. But, you know, it, 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 you shouldn't have commented me, man. Don't watch me. I'd rather you just don't watch me like I don't watch you than for you to come back and say a bunch of shit to me that you didn't, you know, it was, you didn't mean anything by it. Well, it, yeah, you did mean something by it, okay? So, okay, that's going to be our second hard eight, by the way. Um... Uh, you know, you got to watch people like that, too. You know, they, they, 
they secretly do this shit to bring attention to themselves by cutting other video uh, people out. You know what I mean? So he's going to make us look bad, which makes him look good. But then he'll come back on your side and comment to you that, oh, I didn't mean nothing bad about it. See, so you got to watch these little two-faced bastards. And I think that's what he is. Little two-facer, man. And he's making comments that, you know, make us look bad, but yet, you know, he'll come back and comment on our day. Well, I watch you all the time, man. I recommend uh, people to you and all this bullshit. So, you know, that's two-faced shit. And I don't go for that crap, man. So, don't comment on my sites no more and don't even watch me. And then I'm going to put out there also for viewers who think they're going to comment to me. I'll tell you right now, man, you, call, you comment after this video and you defend this guy, I will block you, okay? I'd rather you go away too and just, just watch Color Up, okay? Don't watch me no more. So if you're offended by what I'm saying about Color Up, then you go away too. Just, and you and Color Up stick to your thing and get off of my side, okay? So I'm telling you, if you're going to comment about it, make it good, people, because I will block you from further comments, okay? No defending this guy on my channel, all right? He said what he said. That, that's what brings me out. So I'm here and I'm going to defend myself and what I do. What I do is real. I mean, you're watching. You watch it on every one of my videos, man. Those six people at that casino yesterday that I threw two out of four throws witnessed me. And they made money, too. Because they all had bonus money out there. The time I hit the, the small, the time I hit the all, they all made money off of that. And they were cheering. They were giving me the fist bump and everything. They're the witness of what I do every day is real. Okay? You know, my, matter of fact, my fist is, is sore a lot. Because I get a lot of fist bumps when I go to the casino for my throws, man. I got a fist bump everybody at the table. They run down from the other end to fist bump me. That's real stuff, people. I don't make this shit up. That's real. It happens. It's going to happen today. I'm going to the casino again today. And I'm going to get a lot of fist bumps from my con throw control and dice direction throws, man. It's real. You know, and then we got guys like him that, you know, ha he's got twice the viewers I got. So he's spreading poison to all these viewers and telling them, don't believe in this bone thrower. He is not real. He don't, you know, dice control ain't real. He's telling you bullshit. He's showing you bullshit. Do not watch him. That's what that comment told all his viewers, man, that watch him. And then go look at his shit, man. He throws on a little three inch or a three foot box, two and a half foot box, like a little three year old with his little bitty dice. And he's throwing up against his, I mean, this, this, and he's specking that's supposed to be real life casino action. And then he's showing you, uh, basically, like CK said, he's showing you regurgitated shit. This is stuff that's already been out there for years. He's just, he's, he doesn't even have. Anything on his own. He's just showing you shit that's already been out there. And shit that don't even work. We already know this. But yet he's regurgitating it like it does work. It's nonsense, folks. This is real, what you're seeing here. Controlled random. I already hit my SOR. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... 16 throws, people. I told you we we're gonna throw 14 to 16 times, man. I can sit here and do a thousand videos, and 900, 900 of them will be just like this, out of a thousand, guaranteed. Because it's real. Three. Hey, that's really working, people. Do the fours, man. It actually works better with the fours. So, I'm putting the fours on top and then stacking them, okay? I'm not worried about anything else, man. Okay? I'm just going to put my fours on top like this. Four here and a four here. I'm not worried about no other side. Of the, and then I just stack them. That's all I'm doing. Okay? But I'm doing that top-heavy grip, like I showed you. We want that dice trail, okay? Just like that, man. Another three. Okay, we want, that, we want that dice to trail, man. So make sure you get that dice to trail. 
And I'm just throwing it from stick left one, man. I don't know, you know, if it could be thrown in any other position. If you throw from another position, give it a shot, man. Try it from stick left two. Try it from the back. Throw it on the right side. Whatever, you know, you want to try it from. Setting those dice at fours on top, man. Top heavy, man. Trail in action, man. Beautiful. Alright. There's a nine. Controlled random, folks. With trailing added to it. I'm getting better at this controlled random, folks. I'm coming up with better ways to do it. And I'm doing it for you guys, man. To show you the better way to throw it, man. So every time I come up with a different and better way, I'm doing it for you guys, man. To show you how to do it. Yeah, I'm doing it for myself too because I'm going out and winning, but then I can't wait to do a video and show you guys how to do it too so you can win at it. Because this is the real stuff, folks. This is real. Believe it or not, I mean, I get, uh, I, I get dozens and dozens of comments from people that are winning with this stuff, man. And they believe in what I'm doing and they believe in me, man, that, that it is real and they're winning. Yeah, you're going to have a few failures, failures, man, because it ain't, and I knew I'm not going to be 100% with everybody out there, man. If I'm at an 80 to 90% clip, I mean, that's 80 to 90% of my viewers that have changed their lives by helping them uh, find a, a different way for uh, income to help them out and, and have fun doing it. So I'm happy with that, okay? I, I always knew that, you know, I'm never going to have 100% uh, success ratio. I'm not going to get everybody out there to, to get online and do this because this ain't easy, folks. And I wish I could get 100% because that's what I really, that's what I'm thriving for is 100% accurate success. But I know I'm never going to get there. So everybody's not going to be good at this. Okay. So I just keep putting them out there, you know, different type of throws and, and dice sets and, and methods and everything to, you know, to, to put everything I can to try to get that 100% accurate, okay? And if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. I just do what I do as best I can, okay? And I don't need people like this color-up guy making comments about what I do, you know, because I, I, I lay dormant, man, for a year and a half and never said shit about his crap. Even though I knew it was crap. I just didn't like it. I didn't believe in it. So I just didn't watch the guy. I didn't go comment to my viewers about him. You see, he starts this now. He he, he opened the, the Pandora, man. He opened the box, man. So now he's going to get what he gets from me and CK. And I hope there's a few other people out there to do it. That you know, Come down on this guy, man. Because he's got to know he's got to keep his mouth shut, man. All right? You don't come out and make comments on people that are out there trying to help other people. And you know what, people? And it's for free. I'm not charging you guys for this shit. I don't want your money. I'm going to go to the casino today and make my money. There's going to be people at the table today where I'm at that are going to believe in me because they're going to see what I do. They don't know who I am. I don't go in there and advertise, hey, I'm the bone thrower, man. Watch what I can do. I just go in there, I'm quiet, I just, sit, I just do my thing, I make my money, and I get out. And there's a lot of people who are going to fist bump me today. I guarantee it. I'm going to get a lot of fist bumps today, man, from my throwing. I'm going to try this throw right here, man. I'm going to throw it a couple times today. I like this throw, man. Now that I've figured out these fours on top, that's how you do it, man. Put the fours on top. Maybe even better. But I'm also going to throw... Uh, a couple other throws. I'm going to throw that flip throw today too, man. That I've seen that. Up. So I'm going to a bouncy table today. And uh, I'm going to throw that flip throw, man. I've seen that, that guy throw the other day. Because, you know, I haven't thrown it for a long time, man. And I, I forgot all about it. So I'm going to throw that. But I'm going to throw this too. So I'm going to try my best to throw at least one good set with this and one good set with the flip. That gives me a couple of good throws where everybody makes money. I hope I hit a couple of bonuses for everybody. Do a few fist bumps and I'm out the door, man. Just that simple. Because this shit's real, people. 
Like I said, if you don't believe in it, don't watch me, man. Go watch Color Up, man. If that's, the, if that's the kind of shit you want to look at and nonsense, man, go ahead, man. I hope you and Color Up have a happy life together, man. Just, just get off of my side, man. I do not want negativity on my side, man. This is my side. I'll do whatever the fuck I want with it. If I don't like you, I block you, okay? From comments. I can't block you from watching. But I can block you from commenting on my videos, man. Alright? Because I don't put up with no bullshit. Okay? Hey, there's our bonus right there, folks. Hit the yo. We hit, we hit the tall. Alright, we're still a, a two and a five. Oh, shit. We're two, five, and four. We're not hitting any, any small numbers, man. We're still a long way from a smaller and all. So, we'll take that tall. You know? Little bonus money never hurt nobody. I can't wait to throw this today, man. I like this throw. Control random, folks. You gonna be at the table with me? Make some money? I'll see you there, man. Okay, it's gonna be a fox. I don't want color up to be there, man. I don't want to make money. I don't like making money for assholes, man. Okay, or non-believers, man. So I, I would never want him at my table. So I wouldn't want to make a dime for a guy like that. Hey. Now, I was going to talk about some back... I did talk about back row on that flip video. Hey. Because I'm really into back row now, man. I'm telling you right now, man. I love that game. And I'm winning. I, I figured out a system now that I can win at back row. Now, I don't know if I got enough time to throw. Because we've thrown a lot of throws in the video. So, I mean, we're really overachieved on this throw now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through the whole story on Baccarat because I'm already deep into this throw. And I think I'm on borrowed time if you, ask, if you want to know the truth. Hard eight. Three hard eights, folks. And we're killing these eights, man. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten eights right there, people. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is what you call throw control and dice direction, man. This shit is real. Believe in it. I will do this at the casino today. Guaranteed. I guarantee it. Nine. Anyway, I've been playing this, this back right now. I've been playing now for about three weeks. And, you know, one thing I notice when you play this game, because I don't know if everybody knows how I play it, but basically it's a 50-50 game. It's a guessing game, man. If you're a good guesser, you win. If you're a bad guesser, you lose. Okay? It's just that simple. And there's two ways to win. I mean, there's two ways to bet. I mean, other than your bonuses and everything. But the main bet is they have... He's going to dish out two cards. And I'm not going to get into the game, but there's two cards for the player and there's two cards for what they call the banker. And then whichever one they, gets to eight or nine or, or the highest number wins, okay? And, and it only goes up to nine, okay? The scoring. So you want to get whoever gets closest to nine or the most points on, on either one wins, okay? Basically, that's it. But I noticed, though, when you're playing, that, you know, you have these little winning streaks, man. And that's how you play it, man. You play your streaks. Because you're going to have a little... Where you guess and say you guess the player and you win. And you play the player again, you win. Say you play the player again, you win. Then you bet the banker, you win. 
Then you play the player you win. So that's a little five game winning streak. You just won five in a row by guessing which card's going to win. So anyway, you're having these, these win streaks as you play. And I, I figured it out, man. That's what you do. You ride out your streaks, man. Because all you're going to have is $10. I played it with a $10 table. They have a different amount of tables. I just play it to 10 for now until I get better. So I'm just putting a $10 bet. So say in a little five-game winning streak, say you first hit, you win. So you're going to, you know, it's just even money. So you're going to win 10. So that makes your bet 20. So you just stack the money, make your next bet. You hit that one. Now, you know, you got a $20 bet, so you win $20, so that's $40. Okay, then your third one, you win $80. Your fourth one, you win $160. Your fifth one, you win $320. So you just play out these little streaks. And say you don't, say you, you, you're going for the five and you, and you uh, lose on the four. And you had $160 there. You're only out $10, man. That's all you went in for. You're not out the whole $160 like you were stacking your own money on it. That's the good thing about it. That's what makes the, uh, playing the streak so good. Your initial bet is all you have in it, which is $10. And if you lose that, you start your next streak. You just keep playing for the streak. And believe me, man, if you sit there for an hour, you're going to have two or three streaks that you're going to hit. And that's how I'm winning. I'm playing in these five streaks, and I'm winning them. And I'm hitting three of them at $320. So I'm walking out with a grand or close to a grand. And you don't sit there and play all day, folks. You get out, man. So you're just playing the streaks, man. That's how you win at that game. Boom. Hard eight. Killing that hard eight. That's four of them, folks. Control random with the dice trailing to combine. You're watching it right here, people. Uh, oops. Let's flip that four over, man. Sorry. Don't let these other YouTubers, man, steer you down the wrong road, man. Don't listen to them, man. Throw control is real, man. Dice direction is real. You're seeing it right here on my table, folks. And I'm going to do it at the casino. Unfortunately, a lot of you guys ain't going to be able to be at that table to see it in real life. I'm not going to film it anymore because I'm not getting kicked out of no more casinos to prove it. Four. Okay. Now I just thought about something. We probably didn't hit that that tall because we hit three come out seven. I forgot about that. So we probably didn't hit the tall. That's okay. We're killing it on the eight anyway. That's where I'm making my money right there, man. Boom. You know, if I threw sixty bucks on his eight, and this this is a good method here. As a matter of fact, I'll only show you, man, because I had a guy ask me, he goes, man, when you start losing your money, he goes. What's a good betting system to get your money back quickly? You know, turn the tide. Well, if you can hit one number three times, uh, just put 60 bucks on that number, right? What you're going to do is full press the first two hits and then, and, and then either take it down or go back out with your 60. Like in this, for instance, like we know we're going to hit the 8 a lot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it down and then go back with my 60, okay? So... What we're going to do here is full press that. So you're going to go from 60 to 120 to 240, and then you're going to make 280. Okay, so I'm going to take my 280 down that I hit on my third hit. Okay, I got 240 as a bet, so I'm going to take it down to 180. I'm going to take 180 and add it with my 280. Okay, so that's going to give me a profit of 460. Now I go back with my original bet. Okay, but then 